I'm Eric Perkins of the Perkins Builder Brothers, and I've been doing construction, getting my hands dirty every day for 20 years now. We build homes start to finish, starting from block work. We do all the carpentry and all the finish work as well. And over those years, I've worn all kinds of tool belts, most of them big and bulky and uncomfortable and hot. And that's why my brother and I designed the Perkins Builder Belt that I'm wearing. And this is the essential belt, which is stripped down to just what you need. It'll carry all the essential tools comfortably. It's lightweight and cool and keeps the weight off your hips with these suspenders that are included, which I would recommend, by the way, for any belt. And we've made it even more affordable than it was before. Our mindset behind building the belt like it is was to make it lightweight and make you be able to move around the job site. If you've ever built a house, you know that half your time or more is simply climbing ladders, moving from here to there, walking between studded walls. And if you have a big old bulky saddlebags belt, you can't fit through that stuff easy and you're tempted to fill it up with like 20 pounds of stuff that you don't really need to be carrying around. A couple of the cool little features you might not notice about this belt at first look is that we built the tape pouch to hold a fat max, which is what most carpenters use out on the job site when you're framing. It's a big thick tape and you can get it in and get it out. Your fingers will fit in there and it doesn't sit too low in the pouch so you can grab it easily. We also used a hammer holster instead of a traditional metal hammer loop so that the hammer doesn't swing around and hit you in the leg as you walk around. It's nice and retained and pulled back behind the other pouch out of the way, but you can still get it in and out very quick and easily. We also looked at the tool belts we'd had in the past and what failed about them. And a lot of the times it was a chisel or something sharp cutting through the belt wherever you would keep that. And that's why you put reinforcements in those areas so the belt would last a lot longer. And this seems so simple. It's a phone holder, but it's built to fit a full size smartphone. And what's great about the location of this is you can put your phone in upside down and you can take speakerphone calls while you're hands free or you can listen to music without bothering other people. All of the pouches have a double Velcro lap over the outer belt and they stick to the inner belt, which helps keep them in place. The pouches are also interchangeable or modular, I would call it. So you can swap and place the pouches on whichever side you want and still be able to place the hammer in the correct location with these holes you see here. So if you like your hammer left, your hammer right, your tape left, whichever you wanna do, however you like it, that's how you can set it up. You can also buy this back pouch as an add-on, which is great for your chalk line or for your GoPro like me. Another must for us on this belt was this buckle that allows you to adjust the belt to your own personal size and keep it there and you can quickly get it on and off. You don't have to readjust every time you put the belt on, which saves a lot of time and it's much more comfortable. So if you wanna step up your tool belt game, get a really nice tool belt that's gonna last and be comfortable. Make sure to check out our belt. Appreciate it.